Pro-Wedding Revenge. Disclaimer, this isn't my story, I chanced upon it on another thread on Reddit and figured you folks would love it I'm a photographer, and was working with a super sweet couple. Everything was normal up until the cocktail hour. My partner and I were setting stuff up for the reception, and the groom comes up to us and asks the DJ if he can play a video for his wife. We assume it's some cute slideshow or something. Toasts happen, then the video starts to play. Turns out the bride was sleeping with the best man, and the video was from a bye. The whole room went silent. Bride runs out, best man goes to follow her, groom's father punches best man out. Everyone else ended up staying and having a great party. Super nice people, I ended up shooting the groom's second wedding. I asked him why we went though with it, apparently they had a prenup. At the time of divorce, if adultery could be proven, the offending party owed the other 15k. Hey guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help me out, thanks. Why would a cheater accepted a prenup like that? Either she was stupid enough to think she wouldn't get caught, or she wasn't cheating when she signed the prenup my money is on the former, cheating in the first place is a stupid idea, never works out. Edit, I asked him, the groom, just that. It was a clause inserted by the bride's father, lawyer, apparently her older sister had a cheating spouse. That video wouldn't have been of adultery if they just got married. Unless it was filmed between the ceremony and reception. As many do nowadays, the legal portion had been done prior to the ceremony. They had already been legally married. Left a cheating ex 250 miles from home with only her mobile. Bit of backstory in 2015 I fought in a charity boxing event for cancer research and had a really good time, and got to know a few of the people from the sessions quite well, the training was split between upstairs and down as you trained with someone you'd fight on the show so they separated us to keep it a bit more mysterious or something, as these events attracts mainly males it was a pleasant surprise to see a few girls in with the mix. But I was there to train so other than some friendly chat I wasn't too interested, but I had noticed a girl that was very above average from the rest of the few girls. Pre-fight and after there was a compulsory medical to check for concussion etc. Behind me in the queue was the girl I mentioned before so I asked her how she got on in in her fight and she invited me out for a drink at an after party, I gladly accepted, and was amazed to see her dressed up. Turns out we had a lot in common fitness and romantically so we started a relationship almost straight away. Things went well for about 6 months she met my family and my son, so all was shaping up to be something long lasting we got along like we had known each other years, and I suspected nothing was wrong, she had aspirations to be an Instagram model and she got a free photo shoot down in London, free shot pressured into buying the photos yada yada. But she wanted the experience and I had family on London so we figured why not. The drive there was pretty good pulled over into a service station got a bit frisky so yay was a good drive tongue later in the evening she starts to play on her phone I think nothing of it I had no reason not to trust her. Day of the shoot we leave the hotel I buy he train tickets to the center and she's all excited, she leaves me in the waiting area with her phone and I'm just sat chilling when her phone buzzes, I check to see if it was anything important and a male's name with a love heart is on screen, curiosity gets he better of me I had a snoops turns out she's still very much in love with her ex and tells him several times in messages if he ever wants her back she will be there instantly for him. She gets a break and I tell her I'm nipping to get some food etc, absolutely fuming but keeping a poker face, I walk out the studio train tickets and car keys in hand and head home blocked her and never spoke to her again too long didn't read gf is meeting up with her ex and using me till he wants her so I leave her 250 miles away from home with nothing but her mobile. The only satisfying thing you missed out on was the look on her face when she realized her situation. That would have been that or poop. So. WTF do I do collapse. So delicious. My best friend has romance with my long time girlfriend so, I ruin his life. Ok so this happened a few years ago when I was in grade 12, I had this friend let's call him Johnny and a girlfriend let's call her Karen. Well I had been dating Karen for 3 years and we were both really happy at least I thought. 
We were both going to the same university and it was a good one, and my best friend since we were like five was also coming to the uni. Johnny had a girlfriend by the way let's call her Jill, so I was talking to a good friend of mine let's say his name was Jack, he was telling how a couple of nights ago he accidentally walked in on Jill and Johnny getting it on, I was shocked since Jill wasn't at the party I told this to Jack and he just said I don't know man I just saw a lot of blonde hair didn't see the face, and that he just assumed it was Jill. Now I was a bit shocked, but I didn't give a poop cause Johnny can do what he wants, but later when I was hanging out with Johnny, Jill and Karen, we were watching a movie, I noticed Karen and Johnny like staring at each other, and that Johnny was checking out Karen and that Karen was checking out Johnny. I was just thinking what the duck is going on and I thought maybe something was going on here, but I wanted proof before I said anything, so we kept watching the movie and Karen who was sitting next to me, slowly kept creeping closer to Johnny. I was really getting a bit pissed but I kept my cool and so after the movie I checked Johnny's phone and I was shocked, I saw that he had recorded them having romance, and that there was some extremely incriminating texts. I was ready to murder him but I decided that insisted of going to jail for murder, I would just ruin his life so I sent this video to every person in the school from his phone there are like 5000 people at the school including the teachers and I also decided to send it to the uni he was going to. The next day Johnny was freaking out and Karen was having like a mental breakdown, they still didn't know it was me, and Karen runs up to me and is like begging for forgiveness that Johnny must have drugged her but the texts I had seen went on for a long time it looked like it had been going on for a while I just told her goodbye and that she was a witch Johnny came up to me and said dude that video it must have been edited I would never do that to you I just told him to duck off. Obviously I got attacked a bit for being cheated on by my best friend, but what Karen and Johnny went through oh my god. The principal called them in and I heard that they both were going to be expelled and that the university wouldn't be accepting them anymore Jill got so pissed off and so I comforted her, yeah we are married now. Johnny and Karen left the school that very day it was a huge scandal for a bit but people got over it but I didn't I kept dabs on Johnny and Karen Johnny got into a gang and is in prison now. Karen's family is very, 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 religious so when they saw this video they disowned her and I lost track of her after that. Me and Jill are happily married and have three kids thanks Johnny and Karen well I hope you enjoyed me ducking up two people lives. Was this a blessing in disguise? you pretty much. Wow, this is indeed nuclear. I really wish there was another story about them getting revenge on you or at least the school though. What kind of school kicks someone out for being a victim of revenge recorded romance? How is it that cheating bans you from going to school or university? Of course it may destroy your social life, but I can't fathom how it can be a reason to not be admitted on a new university. Are you living on Iran or another religious state? No Canada. Has anyone noticed that in these stories the girl's parents are always uber religious? No sympathy for them. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes.